Hello and welcome to another 642 Tiny Things to Drop Date. First up, we have the seal on a $1 bill, aka Illuminati. I attempted to get that soft thread texture of dollar bills by using only Artislav colored pencils and graphite, no outlines, just soft pencils. I used a bunch of green and a little bit of yellow to try to get those varying values and shades, and then I used graphite for even darker shadows and some small details. The triangle at the top with the eye isn't quite the right size, it looks a little too small for the rest of the pyramid, however, I didn't realize that until it was far too late to fix it, so whatever, here we are. Here I am drawing the halo effect around the top triangle with graphite, and I think that came out really good. Finish up the bricks and we are done! I'm happy with how this one came out. Next up we have the spray of an atomizer, which apparently I forgot to record a whole bunch of the process of. Here I am outlining in metallic, grabby, acrylic markers. I chose to do a fancy squish bottle type of perfume for the atomizer, and next to it I am drawing an ink stain, which I fittingly done entirely in Micron, aka ink. For the ink stain, I chose to do one of those dip pens because those things are very messy, so I thought that would make sense for an ink stain drawing. Also, I lied, I didn't end up switching to a ballpoint pen because I thought the Micron was bleeding through the paper, but it is still all ink. Anyway, next up we have a sea monkey, which is basically a tiny little shrimpy thing, so in the top left corner is my reference. I colored it in with rainbow colored pencils because that's what I had near me and these things are fun to work with. I used an orange and yellow one for the line down its back because in the photo its back is somewhat yellowish and then for its body I used blue because it's it's white in the photo but it's like a tinge of blue so I used the blue. I based my colors off the reference photo. I filled in the background black and I used metallic grabby acrylic paint markers to outline it and add some little circle bubbles in the background to give it some pizzazz. Here it is all done. I think this one actually came out really cute. Next we have a centimeter mark on a ruler. This is a rather boring prompt and I've been pushing it off for quite a while, so after outlining it in Micron, I used again rainbow colored pencils because those are much more fun than basic colored pencils. And then I covered the whole thing in dots with, again, grabby metallic acrylic paint markers. If you haven't noticed, I really like grabby acrylic paint markers. Here it is done. It's boring, but the dots make it slightly more fun. Next up we have a fish egg. Oh look, more rainbow colored pencils. I was really feeling these things this week, apparently. I tried to make the background mostly blue for water, but the yellow kept coming out and mixing with the blue, making it green. So here we have yellow, green, ocean water, I guess. And I made the egg itself orange and yellow because fish eggs are frequently orange. At least most of the ones that I found on Google Images were orange. And after coloring it all in, I added a little bit of shading with graphite. I outlined it with metallic paint markers. I gave it a border because I felt like it. I smudged the paint markers in the bottom corner to make it slightly more interesting. I thought it gave it a cool effect. I like it. Yeah, so you put down some paint from the pen and then blotched it out with my fingers and it made it this really smudgy texture and I like it. Now we have a cell and a beehive, although I drew multiple cells. I sketched it out and appreciated it in with graphite and then here I am coming in with non-rainbow colored pencils to give it some color. I used all yellow and orange to color it in and then I outlined it with a dark orange metallic paint marker and used that same metallic paint marker to draw in the honey, although I did not record that part. Anyway, here it is finished. That is an absolute garbage photo. I apologize. I don't realize how bad these photos are until I put them in the video because then I can see the lighting of the video compared to the lighting of the photo and the photo lighting is always so much worse. Here we have the space between your toes and I'm back at it again with the rainbow colored pencils because they're just so much fun. It's like three colors all at once. It's great. I made the toenails purple and the foot green and then I used like an orangey brown to shade it because we love color here. Then I used non-metallic grabby acrylic paint markers to outline and fill in the background. I chose purple for the background to match the toenails and then a darker green as the outline to go with the green skin. There it is all done and now we have a carbon atom and I did not try on this one like at all. When I looked up a reference photo, everything I got was either really cartoony or like a science textbook graphic. I couldn't find like a real photo of a carbon atom if that even exists. That has to exist, right? Anyway, the point is I didn't like any of the reference photos. So I just said, all right, I'm just gonna wing it and hope for the best. And I certainly as hell did not get the best. So here's a really, really shitty doodle of a carbon atom. Anyway, now we have a four leaf clover and a coffee bean that I worked on at the same time. I sketched and base shaded all with graphite, and then I used yellow as the highlightiest highlight for both drawings, but for the four-leaf clover, I stuck to all greens, and for the coffee bean, I stuck to all browns. These are all artist loft colored pencils. I left the background blank for both of these drawings because I didn't really have any good ideas for filling it in, but I don't mind it blank. I think the drawings work good on their own without a background. And I think both of them came out really cute here. They both are all finished. And next up, we have a cracked lip. However, I drew more of a busted lip. Again, base shading done with graphite. Here I am coming in with a very, very light pink color for the lips. 
I used a couple shades of red as shading slash filling in those wrinkles of the lips and to define all of the lines a bit better. And using more red to fill in on the cracks, we have two little ones on the bottom lip and then one massive scar going from the top all the way down to the bottom lip. Really chapped lips tend to get a little bit orangey around all the cracks and then like the negative space areas of the lips. So I did add some orange in between all of the wrinkles and cracks to make it look more irritated. And let me tell you, these are not lips that I would want to have. Those look painful, but I like how they come out. So next up, we have a mocha truffle. This is another one I wasn't excited to draw because it is just a circle of brown and I didn't really know how to approach it. There's some melted chocolate along the bottom edge, which I think came out pretty good. And for a little more pizzazz, I gave it that white dribble that some truffles have along the top. But I used a off-white, slightly cream-colored, metallic, grabby acrylic paint marker. Here it is all done. And that is the final one for this update. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to see more of me, click the link in the description box. That'll bring you to all of my socials and then some. Okay, bye!